Good morning everyone, Libby here. It is the day before we fly to the States to Disney World. And as you can see behind me, I have all my clothes laid out in the bed. Don't normally do that, but it's to show you guys exactly what I'm taking for this trip. So basically we have got two weeks and two days at Disney World, doing mainly theme parks and a little bit of shopping. And then we are going on a seven night cruise and then finishing with four days at Universal Studios. So the bulk of the holiday is obviously theme park touristy stuff. And then we've got the cruise. We decided not to do formal night, so I'm not taking anything for that. But I've got a few dressier items that I can wear normally, like if we're going shopping or whatever. But I can dress them up a little bit as well for dinner you know, on the cruise ship. Not for formal night though. <laughs> we'll have to skip that one this time. Anyway, I will show you what I am taking. Now, it's not quite as minimal as I would have liked. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to buy anything over there or not. And obviously, I need to have enough clothes. And also... At the moment, I'm premenopausal and on Cymbalta, both of which cause more sweating than normal. I don't know if you can tell right now. I'm glistening as we speak. <laughs> I've got the air conditioning on and a fan on, and I'm still melting. Uh, so I need to take a few more clothes in case I need to change like halfway through the day or to go out at night. Obviously at home, I don't do that, but on holidays, I might want to freshen up midway through. Even this time, I'm taking a spare set of clothes for the plane in case I just like melt. Because I have episodes where I just like sweat. Like I'm just be sitting on the couch and just suddenly start sweating. Too much information, I know. But like my back could end up drenched. So <laughs> that's why I have to take more clothes than I would like. But I've, I've parted it down. I've been thinking about this for weeks. And because I have a minimal wardrobe, it's been really easy to plan what I want to take. So let's show you. So I'll start with pants and bottoms. So I've got a warmer pair of jeggings in case it's cold. Uh, it's winter, but Florida weather is usually pretty warm. And most days should be nice. Sorry, squeaky floorboards. Most days should be nice and warm, but the evenings can get cold. We could also have a real cold snap of weather. So I'm taking jeggings, which are warmer. Whether I have to wear them or not, I do not know. Then I've got these pants, which are nice light material. They're long. I'm going to wear them on the plane. Three quarter... They're called leisure pants. They are so comfortable. My favourite pants. So they're a three-quarter pant. Um, that's going to take for my spare set on the plane. Then I've got these, which are a short. They're a long short, though, but a quite thick material. But then basically my shorts. They go below the knee. And I've got a pair of dressy black pants, which I'll also wear during the day, particularly if I go shopping or things like that. But I would wear them to the park. I'm very comfortable in them. And then I've got a long black skirt. So that's the bottoms that I'm taking. And then over here I have tops. So I have, I'm thinking most days it's going to be singlet top weather. So I've got a dressy black singlet top up the top. Again, I'm going to wear it to the theme parks, but also for dinners on the cruise or out shopping. And then I've got three more casual singlet tops. Then I've got a black t-shirt, which I'm going to wear on the plane. The stripy blue and white t-shirt, which is going to be a spare one on the plane. And of course my Christmas top. Probably, I don't really need to take that, but I want to wear it. <laughs> so I'm taking that because they're going to be away for until Christmas Eve. Then I've got some dressier things, particularly for the cruise. That's the three quarter top up there. Um, looks very tropical, but again, I could also wear it to Disney World. There's a, that's a very tropical jacket um, with the flowers on it. That's a three quarter jacket, but it's quite a, a dressy jacket. So again, I could wear it to Disney World if I want a light jacket or the cruise to dress up dinner. And then I've got this long, um, you can wear it as a jacket or as a t-shirt, not as a shirt, a jacket or as a, like a long top. I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, I sort of wear it as a long jacket over, I'll probably wear it over the top of either the black or the blue singlet top. So that's dressy. That's definitely for the cruise. Then I've got two uh, three quarter sleeve tops. The black one's a very light one. And then this one is um, a light jumper material. So it's really cold. I could layer both of them. And then I've also got a black jacket which is not again it's not a heavy jacket so I've got nothing really particularly heavy so if it's really cold I'm going to have to layer but I was going to take a light jacket and I thought the jumper would be more versatile because it's going to obviously be as a jacket done up sort of thing in, in jumper form or it's a jumper and yeah so I figured that was going to be more useful I also have a dress here it's a short dress which I can wear obviously as a dress if I want, but I would more, I'm more taking it as a cover up, you know, either around the resort or to wear, um, yeah, over my cosies. So that's what I'm taking that as, but obviously I can wear it as a dress if I feel like it. I've got two swimmers at this stage. I think I'm going to take the two. I'm not 100% sure. I might just take one, but I find my swimmers take quite a while to dry, so I'm probably going to take the two. 
I have a sun hat, which I may hopefully replace on holidays because that one's getting a little bit faded now, but I love that hat. It sits very really nice on me. I've got two sets of jammies. These ones have got Bambi on them, so they're extra cute. And it's a gray, plain gray singlet top. This sets, um, those pants, what happens to them? They're just, a, these are a bit big on me. Actually, they're quite big on me. So I'm actually hoping to maybe replace that set when I'm over there, and then I'll just leave that there because they don't really look very good on me anymore. And then finally my shoes, I have got my Skechers Go Walks, which I'm obsessed with and I'm wearing them on the plane. <laughs> and then I've got my Crocs, which again, I'm hoping to replace this pair. Because if you look at the bottom, they are pretty worn out. So I'm hoping to replace them at the Croc shop at the Florida Mall. And then I'm taking these for a dressier shoe on the cruise ship. They aren't the most comfortable, but they'll be okay for a few hours walking around the ship. Uh, save me taking like a heel, which will probably be nicer, but I think I can get away with these. Bearing in mind the colour scheme of my dressier clothes, I think they're going to be okay. But obviously I've got underwear and bras as well, and the black jacket which I mentioned. And I believe that is it for all my clothes. So now I am going to pack them all into my Eagle Creek packing cubes and packing folder. And I'll see exactly what I've got if I decide to take anything out of this. But I'm pretty set that this is going to be it. stuff obviously I've got shoes and a hat still so I've got all my pants no sorry all my pants are in there underwear all my tops in here I've just got the long um, light jacket thing whatever it's called I don't know um, <laughs> my sundress two pairs of jammies and there's something else in there what else is in there all right that's it and then my two sun suits, swimsuits, are just going to go in one of the pockets in my suitcase. So in my bathroom to show you what I am taking as far as toiletries, makeup and jewellery goes. So I'm trying to keep everything as minimalist and as essential as I can. I don't actually plan on buying much makeup, if any makeup over there. I will probably have a little look, but I'm hoping not to buy much because I really don't want to add anything to my collection unless it's to replace something that's already in the collection that I have. So anyway, I'll quickly show you what I have. So this is my toiletry bag. I've been using this for a number of years now. Uh, what goes on top? <laughs> so you can see it's just basically this. I've got my toothbrush and toothpaste, a hairbrush and a loofah and the headband will also just sit on the top. So in here I have these goo, goo tubes, I think they're called. I buy them from Howard Storage, but you can get them. I got these originally from somewhere else, but they sell them at Howard Storage. So I've got my shampoo, conditioner. Um, this is a face cleanser. I can actually show you, it's that one there. that has got the exfoliating beads, which means I don't have to take an exfoliant. I have got what not facial wipes for taking my makeup, cleansing my face at night. And the eye makeup remover pads for taking eye makeup off. There's a razor. Well, a razor handle and then I take these Venus Breeze ones that have got the aloe vera strips so I don't have to take uh, shaving cream. I've got my psoriasis cream in case it flares. Um, what have I got there? Oh, I'm not going to need that now. That's an eye makeup remover but now that I've got these wipes I won't need that. A little hydrating mask. It's just a really clear, it's a clear one. It's probably like maybe two in there I guess, two days worth. Night cream. I've got a little headband thing to tie my hair back if I need to. Um, the Tarocco Orange 
shower gel from Crabtree and Avalon and I'm hoping to buy like a nice peppermint flavoured one perhaps at Bath and Body Works but that'll get me started and I'll do half the trip same with the moisturiser just taking this roll on perfume this is nearly empty but I always like to keep keep an elastic uh, static cling anti-static spray in my toiletry bag because it's very handy to have I need to get some more and then again I've just got a little shine and gloss serum in case my hair needs because I have a hair emergency eye cream and the travel size or a smaller size of the trilogy rosehip oil and quite a few of the things are getting low like that's quite it's only half full I'll probably finish it on holidays hopefully it'll last I might have to replace it deodorant and then that is my day cream which has got a sunscreen in it it is this one from Natio so rather than take this size I'm taking that size one so I tried to camp where possible into smaller containers so that is it and then this, these things will just sit on top and I'll close up the bag can't do that one handed but you can see it will all fit in with that as well so that is that um, I've got my makeup brush roll it's one of the real techniques ones and I've just put in a few brushes I was only an hour at taking this but I like it because when I get to my accommodation I just leave it sitting on the bench like that and it's easy to grab everything when at home I have them all in the, the cup there okay so let's tip out my makeup I did my makeup this morning using all this it's not a lot in there it looks like a lot doesn't it though but let's take it all out and see what we have so my foundation I've decanted into a nice little small container with a hair tie and then I've just got the concealer. I don't need to use this too often, but you never know. Better to be prepared. I have, this is one of the biggest things is really some of the powder. And a small blush. So it's a Face of Australia one in Primrose. So again, try and get a small, and I just go a really nice neutral shade that I don't have to fuss about too much. I'm going to take this Essence Sun Club eyeshadows because it's got... I hate eyeshadows in it and they're only small just very neutral colors that's actually one thing I want to replace one of my wet and wild ones which I might do over there or I most likely will um, I don't oh that's a primer a face sorry face primer and an eye primer mm, what if I need to take that I'll take it it's only small it's not, oh, not too bad then I've got a, a fin makeup finishing spray it's got a bit in that um, sorry mascara I thought showing you everything there and then this is my new brow what do they call it brow enhance I just got that the other day for my beauticians um, a very small <laughs> what's left of eyeliner um, that's another thing I'll probably get some more eyeliners over there I'm stuck in the lip I should put the lip thing in there and then I've got my tweezers which I always have to have and then I've got two lipsticks I'll show you so I've just got two lipsticks a nice neutral color and then I've got a, a brighter color but I just wanted to go the really bright pink just that one I feel a bit more like I've got one that's almost a color of my finger now there but I figured that would be a little bit more neutral but still in a nice bright color so that was that I've got probably sit them in my toiletry bag or in the makeup bag a whole lot of hair ties and I just left them in the little hair tie container and then jewelry I think I'm going to put into this jewelry roll it obviously came with my set of stuff but um, I found it in the kids thing so I've got my spare watch bands my Apple watch bands so I can change them I'm taking my old watch because it is waterproof so when we go to the water park or have days at at the beach and stuff I can put that on I'm not taking a whole lot of jewelry as you can see this is it and I've gone for just very plain so I've got one nice fancy necklace which will be good for on the cruise for dressing up then I've just got a I'm going to wear my Mickey Mouse one that I've got the Celtic Mickey about last time I'm actually wearing my Mickey earrings at the minute I'll take them I'll probably wear them and then I'm just taking my little birds my beautiful little palm trees um, these pearl ones which I love and then these ones that I wear an awful lot I might even wear these ones on the plane because I wear these at a lot they're just nice simple ones that is all I'm taking for jewelry I don't think I've ever taken such a little amount of jewelry before I don't plan on buying much maybe something really nice if I see it I want to go through all my jewelry that's a job to do when I get home and have a big declutter of that because I tend to wear just a lot of very neutral plain pieces these days but I'll keep some of the colored ones but we'll 
have a go through and I've obviously I've shifted <laughs> for years and years I wore big jewelry it's only been in the last few years I've started wearing smaller e- for earrings I've started wearing small earrings now I don't like big earrings anymore it's funny how you do your taste do change but like for 20 plus years I wore really big earrings so that is everything I believe that I showed you that's all I'm taking anyway and I've got a uh, obviously over here excuse the mess I've got a bag with you know sanitary things in them and then this is going to be a little bag I'll take on the plane I haven't got a lot of um, things to put in there but like I've got moisturizer in there and that's a little face I've got to check I can take that one I think I can because it's just a spray like a misty spray and I'll put um, a little deodorant towelette things in there and the hand sanitizer I've already got hand cream just you know ear, the ear things hair ties again always have hair ties everywhere just essentials for on the plane but it's obviously it's got fluid in it so it needs to be checked when we go through security well I should change my mind on the jewelry case because the other one just didn't have little compartments so this way I can keep my necklaces I decided I'm also going to take my Tinkerbell one so I've got my three necklaces separated earrings in there um, and then I'll watch stuff down the bottom and then this just this, it packs pretty flat too so and obviously it's got a hanger you can hang things off the bottom if you need to but that's it so it doesn't take up much room that was from Diva years ago so I'll take that instead I think that'll be more practical for these purposes one more thing, of course I'm taking some nail polish. It actually took me ages to um, get my selection down to four. <laughs> that was really tough. <laughs> so I'm obviously starting by wearing a different colour. I've got Kiss Me On Your Chill. It's by Opion. I need to touch it up a little bit. It's going to be damaged today. So I've got Purpley Gala from Picture Polish. Swagger from Picture Polish. Watermelon from Picture Polish. And what's this one called? Bombshell, which is like the nicest hot pink color from Australia so all Australian um, polishes and then I've got this manicure nail polish remover pads I don't know what they're like okay so I'm not going to do a detailed what we packed because I've done my clothes and all my stuff which clothes are all in there in the cubes we've got some supper bags and our Disney photo Disney autograph books are in there I did an autograph book. I've got my hat, my ears, sanitary stuff. I've got more clothes, shoes in there, um, sunscreens that are sort of thrown in there, jewelry. Kevin's toilet bag. We've got all our power cubes are in there, and then all the rest of Kevin's technology uh, is in there. Who knows what he's packed? Um, some of our GoPro accessories. Kevin's toilet bag. Mine's still got to go in after I use it tomorrow. Um, over here in this bag, in the bag. <laughs> We have our, my tripod, we've got a spare, like a beach bag that we'll use on the cruise and possibly bring things home. That's like got first aid um, or emergency medical stuff in there. Um, and then we've got just bits and p- random bits and pieces in there. Why is that in there? It's my, so my spare swimsuit, our um, drink bottles. <laughs> so this bag's pretty empty anyway. Some other bits and pieces in there, and uh, water shoes. So the bag of the bags. I've got plenty of room to bring stuff home. And and I've been working on my on board bag. I'll have my handbag, and then I've got this one. My laptop will go in that section. And then I've got Kevin and Christy's jackets. My jacket's not even in here yet. All my prescription medication. So it's a clothes some snacks <laughs> and then that will hopefully squish in there a rosy who can't come <laughs> and I've just got some lollies to chew on the plane and my lipstick to take down so socks for on the plane and then I'm just going to take all this stuff down and get it all organized in my bag my kindle I have to pack in the morning which will go into this bag I'm hoping that I just have to have they won't really need them. I'll put the hand cream and moisturizer in there, and then well, once I go through um, security and custom, not yeah, security. Um, but I haven't really got any liquid stuff now, actually. Only lotions, so I don't know if they're going to worry about that. I think they only worry about liquids. Anyway, um, I can just pop it in there anyway. Hoping to have like, I don't think my iPad will fit in here, but 
all the stuff that I want to grab on the plane. Like I'll put some tissues in here and I can pop my glasses in here when I'm not wearing them. Keep everything organized in the back seat. Rosie's not sure what's going on. Oh, Bailey lying down here. So that's us pretty much packed. Got our clothes organized for tomorrow. And I've just got a matter of getting the house a bit more tied up, but we're pretty much set. A few jobs to finish off, like empty bins. I've cleaned out the fridge already. So yeah, I think we're very organized, which is good, because it's just only 3.30 in the afternoon.